Hmm. I'm Sarah Squire with Adam Smith Works, and this is the Smith Questionnaire. I'm Vernon Smith, and I'm a 40-year fan of the Liberty Fund. All right, you ready, Vernon? Yes, I'm ready. All right, I have 10 quick questions for you about you and Adam Smith. All right. Would you rather be loved or lovely? Uh, lovely. Wealth of nations or theory of moral sentiments? Theory of moral sentiments. If Adam Smith had a dog, what kind of dog do you think that he would have? Oh, wow, now that that's hard to be quick on. Let's see, a greyhound. Oh, good answer. What do you think is the best antidote to the torpor induced by the division of labor? Uh, all of the release time you have to do other things. Hmm. Do you think, this is, the, this is the very silly question, I'm just warning you. All right. Do you think that Adam Smith would rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? Oh, I think he likes diversity and he would take the, the big case. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I take that in the numbers case. I okay, mean, yeah. so he, the, the 100 uh, duck sized oh, horses. Oh, because there's lots of challenges out there. Yeah, no, okay. No I, no, I think he would take, yeah. Good question, though. <laughs> I like that one. If not silly. It's, <laughs> it's on target. It's silly yet also deep. Yes. It is. <laughs> what do you pursue for pleasure that was once followed from necessity? Wow, uh, that was once followed by this. So activity. Smith talks about, you know, hunting and oh, fishing. Oh, I like fishing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be fishing, yeah. Smallmouth bass in northern, er, uh, northern Indiana streams are terrific. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you get to wade and, and there's all kinds of activity. Yeah, and if you're lucky, you get to go home with a fish. Yeah, that's right. Smith says that one of the times we experience sympathy is when we share an appreciation for the same piece of literature or the same work of art. So what should people watch or read or listen to in order to sympathize with you? With me? Hmm, well, uh, what, they, what should they read? Yeah. Theory of Moral Sentiments. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Good answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was, that was, that, yeah, that's easy. What does your impartial spectator look like? Oh, well, he's transparent yet dense. Uh, he's wise uh, and he's interested in infinite detail. Hmm. I like that. That's the ideal. I'm not necessarily yeah. saying. I mean, to me, that's yeah. That's what the guy. Yeah, that's, that's what he looks what like. I would reach for yeah. and if I were going to try to make that concept tangible. Yeah. But he works. He or she works uh, in the back. Felt very below the radar. Yeah. Your radar, self aware at least, yeah. see, but constantly in there changing things and changing you. <laughs> Smith warns us that too severe an application to study sometimes brings on lunacy and frenzy. So, oh, sh should we be worried about you? I should, uh, yes. <laughs> I welcome that lunacy. <laughs> All right. If an afterlife exists, what would you like to discuss with Adam Smith when you get to meet him? Oh, I would love to talk with him about. He 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 rode by horseback from Kirkady to to uh, came to uh, Oxford mm -hmm. to be a freshman. He traveled by horseback. Now that's a pretty big distance. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him. Begin with that, and then I'd like to talk have him talk a little more about what he meant when he wrote to one of his earlier letters he said that Oxford students will not endanger their health by excessive stuff <laughs> he says we have only to go to lecture twice a week 
and prayer twice a day. <laughs> because I think that man, and of course he seemed, I think he was unusually well prepared. Mm -hmm. He had lots of time for reading and he, he was hungry to use mm -hmm. that time. So he, he clearly was very self-motivated from the beginning. I'd love to talk with him yeah. about that. And I'm sure that's when he started to write the history of astronomy. I, I very, I almost certainly a lot of that stuff he started. He was there seven years. Mm -hmm. He was 17 when he went. You see, and he's yeah. there seven years, 24 when he left. And my guess is that he he started some of that early writing. It's amazing to think of him doing that now. Yeah, yeah. All right, that is the end of our, our 10 questions. Well, Thank very, you very, very much. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that was that a lot was of fun. fun. Thank yeah. you.